Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks for joining us on Ludicrous V today. I'm going to ask the question, which is the better electricity plan to be on, standard or time of use tariff? I'm currently on a time of use tariff and I'm going to apply my latest electricity bill to a standard tariff and see which one comes out better. Just to be clear, this is for my situation, so uh, apply what you watch today to your own situation and see how you go. Just about myself quickly, I live in Sydney, Australia. I live with three other people, my wife and two children, and I have a 3 kilowatt solar array and a Tesla Powerwall 2, which is a 13.5 kilowatt hour capacity. This is my latest electricity bill, which encompasses the last 90 days. As you can see, the electricity rates vary between peak, off-peak, and shoulder. And overall, it comes to a total of $267.71. For simplicity's sake, I've omitted the feed-in tariff from my solar panels, and that will make it easier to apply the calculations to a standard tariff. Let's have a look if I were to use those figures from that slide to apply that to a standard tariff, which is uh, $0.28.9 cents with the same power company AGL here in Sydney, Australia. So check my maths if you want, but the figures come out to be $353.46 if you apply that standard tariff of $0.28.9. Cents. The supply charge is a little bit different at $0.84 cents per, uh, per day. And also the controlled load is the same between uh, time of use and standard. So like I said, it comes to $353.46. Let's have a look at the two plans side by side. Um, the standard plan is 28.9 cents, like I said, in the middle. And then the current time of use plan, which is what I'm on currently, is on the right hand side. Um, as you can see, it's clearly cheaper currently with my time of use plan, almost by about $90 compared to if I were to switch over to a standard plan. Let's have a look at each category here. Uh, we'll break it down for you slowly. Let's have a look at the peak charges. Um, sure, there's, it's more expensive for me currently uh, at 53.9 cents, but even though it's double the price, it's very small. It's like $7 versus $3.99. Let's have a look at off-peak. Now, this is where the difference comes in. So on my current plan, I'm only paying $100 uh, for usage, whereas if I were to switch over to a standard plan, all that electricity that I use off-peak would become $194.97. So that's a big difference. I'll come back to that in one second. Um, shoulder periods, not much difference, 28 versus 22. Control load's exactly the same, like I said, 50 odd dollars. Supply charge, it's slightly increased with the time of use plan. It becomes $86.40 versus $75.60 if I were to switch over to a standard plan. Overall, the differences between you know supply charge and peak and shoulder does not account for the fact that if you were to switch over to a standard plan, the amount of electricity I use at off-peak times uh, almost becomes double in price. So like, look at the off-peak times. Current time of use plan, $100.86 versus if I switch over to a standard plan, it becomes $194.97. So that is the big difference. And overall, the standard plan, if I were to switch over, it would be $353.46, which is 90 odd dollars more than my current plan, which is $267.71. So there you go. It's currently cheaper for me to stick with my time of use plan. In summary, time of use benefits, it really is better for people if you I uh, use a lot of off-peak electricity. Um, situations such as this will include having an electric car, if you use a lot of overnight heating or cooling, and if you schedule all your appliances overnight, like your washing, your dishwashing, if you do all that, try to use off-peak electricity, then obviously it's better that you stick on a time of use plan. Better also that if you have a battery, because the battery can cover that expensive peak period. That way you can, um, you don't have to pay that really high 53.9 cents uh, tariff for peak periods. A standard rate benefits people who don't have a battery because they have to use that peak time. Also better for people who don't really use much overnight heating or cooling, or if you don't need that heating or cooling, then a standard rate is fine as well. All right guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and as I said in my previous Power Bill video, stick around because in an upcoming future video, I'm gonna talk about how much my Powerwall 2 has saved me. I'm going to compare four real world power bills in 2018 versus four real world power bills from 2016 before I got my Powerwall 2 and tell you what the difference has been. And then we can work out how much, how long that payback is having a battery uh, and how much that will save you in your electricity bills. That will be all revealed in an upcoming future video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. It's a lovely hot day here in Sydney. Hopefully it's nice as well wherever you are in this world. And as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. 
If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. If you're about to buy a Tesla, use my promo code THOMAS7208 to score 6 months of free supercharging. Happy charging!